Hey G2, I'm so excited to be with you. Thank you for tuning in this week. Today, the main topic that we're gonna be talking about is fasting. Fasting, well, how do you do it? What is it? What are the benefits of it? Why does God love it? So fasting, I'm actually in a fast right now. Uh, and there are a couple different fasts you can do. Obviously, you can fast technology, you can fast social media, you can fast Netflix, you can fast candy or sweets, you can do a Daniel fast, you can fast meats, you can fast f all food in general, which is what I'm doing right now, just fasting all food in general, only drinking water, uh, uh, which is really, really great. Never thought I would really do this, but the Lord has led me into this just through uh, 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 connecting with Him and being in His presence. So uh, I want to uh, go to Isaiah. I can't pinpoint right now just the exact chapter, but in Isaiah, the Lord speaks about fasting that please is him and speaks about some of the things that happen when we fast in a way that pleases him it basically speaks about turning away from wickedness uh, extending uh, uh, love and resources to the poor uh, it speaks about allowing basically debts that people owe you let them go don't oppress people this kind of stuff and one of the great things that that yields is uh, a, a speedy healing which is awesome because there are some of us who have some things that we need the Lord to heal. I'm not just talking about physical things. I'm talking about maybe it's stuff with your mind, maybe it's stuff with your, just, just your soul and your emotions in general. It may be stuff like anxiety. I don't know what you're going through or what area of your life that you need healing in. But one of the things that fasting does is it allows, it paves a way, it forms a highway for speedy healing. And the reason is, is because when we fast, what we are actually doing is pushing down our flesh. So we are, uh, uh, purposely uh, uh, neglecting or, or suppressing rather, that's a better word, suppressing our flesh, which is our body, suppressing our soul, which is our mind, will and emotions, uh, all in the effort through the presence of God, through the grace of Jesus Christ, to elevate our spirit above everything else. We want our spirit man to be elevated. Why? Why do we want that? So that we can be in greater relationship with Jesus. We can get more revelation. We can get more clarity into things. We, we, we can have greater personal encounters that will affect public atmospheres. This is, one of, this is actually the main reason for fasting. But there are things that come out of that level of consecration and spiritual cooperation that we can bring into our daily lives. And healing, speedy healing, the Bible actually puts it healing speedily. That is one of the things that comes out of that. It also speaks about uh, your righteousness being developed and, your, and, and, and the light within you springing forth like the morning. And this all speaks to a high level of consecration and purity because all we want to do at that point, all we're thinking about, our entire focus is Jesus Christ and how can I get closer to Him? How can I bring more of Him into my life? How do I do this? I really encourage you to fast. We're in a really great season to do it as well. There's not a whole bunch going on. I know stuff is starting to open up, but it's not opening up very quickly. I encourage you, pray on this. Ask the Lord, say, Lord, if I were to fast, what would you want me to fast? Lord, do you want me to fast? How do you want me to fast? And the Lord will lead you. And He will also lead you into His presence continually. There's another great scripture. I think it's Isaiah 61, where it says, and He will continually guide me. He will continually guide me. And this is what fasting, fasting is one of the ways that, that, that those doors become open to us. When we are suppressing everything that is carnal, everything that is earthly, everything that is on the fle uh, of the flesh with the pure goal and sole intention of getting closer to Jesus and things just begin to happen. Things begin to happen in your walk with God. Things begin to happen. You just feel the Holy Spirit just, just rising up within you. You feel a new zeal. You have an appetite for the Word. And the Lord begins to transform you from the inside out, starting with your spirit, starting with your thoughts, starting with your desires, what you think about, your emotions, how you act. And that has a physical translation into the rest of your life. So I really want to encourage you to do it. I encourage you to also just to get a little bit more, more knowledge about this, read Isaiah chapter 57, 58, 59, maybe all the way up to 60 or 61 if you have it. You can break it up into little sections, but it's going to give you a lot more insight and clarity into what God has for you. You can't declare the promises that you have if you don't know what they are, which is why reading the Word, it's a must. And the Lord will make the Bible come alive to you, especially in a time of fasting, like He's done with me. The reason I'm so passionate about this right now is because I'm in it at the moment, and it is probably the most amazing experience of my life. 
I feel so close to the Lord and, and it is such a privilege and an honor to be in the same room where His presence is. And I have that every time I enter into worship because there is a high level of purity and consecration in my life right now because of fasting. So pray on it, speak to God about it, get the mind of God on this. I really encourage you to do it. Uh, uh, and, and, and read in, in Isaiah just some of those chapters that I pointed out to you. Anyway, guys, we have a super exciting lesson next week. I love you and I can't wait until next week. Go well.